All we did was like, okay, we, we're gonna go to India, go up the highest road in the world, on the way to Wales. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it really. We're we're we got some books. Yeah, we got some books. Why are you moving when I need to lay? It's a very dangerous road. But you see, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. But not cost of the human body life. I am not advised to use that kind of thing. We're going to rent the motorbikes in Delhi, but when we got down to actually renting them, it turns out my driving license was expired, which it is, and dudes can't ride a motorbike in India. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can ride a motorbike, but my license doesn't let me. We're now getting a bus to Manali and see if we can rent a bike there. filled up at the petrol station but what we didn't realise was that the next petrol station was 265 kilometres later. A very friendly man is giving us five litres. We'll need to find more though. Here we have five. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. We're having a home stay today, sitting in someone's house. This kind man has agreed to take us in. <laughs> Come to our first river crossing. We're just debating what we should do. But the current is just too strong. So we're gonna have to go down the uneven bit here. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be no dramas. Easy as that. I can't feel my toes. We could have used the bridge, but that would have been, that would have been, uh, that would have been boring. Here, between Sad between Sadhu and Pang, in the Lachungla Pass, 5,046 meters. We're gonna leave a note, and whoever finds it will get 50 rupees. <laughs> yeah.
got a puncture. We're in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully I can drive on it until we get to near nearest village, see if we can fix it. These kind fellows are going to help us try and fix this puncture. Shock, the suspension. It's broken as well. Look. Oh. Go to Peng. Uh, try to get some help. Yeah. Who knows how to okay. fix it. And in the meanwhile, we do You'll this. Give it, yeah. This is why <laughs> it broke. Carlos! We, ha we haven't been able to fix our bike yet. We just managed to ride it here. It took forever. This is where we stay. So we are still in the village of Pang at about 11 o'clock. Trying to do anything at this altitude is just it's impossible. So hard. Just talking like is hard. Around. Please, please tell me it's worth Yeah? Yeah. Yes! So we just had another flat tyre. Look where we are. That up there is 5,400 um, metres, so I think it will be about 5,000 now. I'm just doing any kind of exercise, just it's tiring. A few cars have gone past, but no one is able to hire bikes. Keep your hopes up. Go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna get. Duke is gonna get a lift. With those guys. I'm gonna ride this bike in the village. I'm gonna leave my bike here. Bike is trying to that side and we're this side. I'm trying to clear the, that 15 meter stretch of snow. Just arriving in May. So we just booked our rafting. Um, how hard is it? You're gonna die. <laughs> So, we're in the highest, world's highest motorable pass. Well, we're about a kilometer A kilometer away. And we thought the most sensible thing to do would be to race to the top. Race on. Three, two, Made it to the highest motorable road in the world, 18,380 feet.
So we met this pretty cool dude here. Yeah. Can we shoot over there? No, no. <laughs> you have grenades? Yeah. You have grenades? Uh, he has grenades. Yeah. We just had a puncture in a random place. And apparently the Dalai Lama is coming. That was the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Race number two. Legend. Three. Two. Two. What? What the fuck? What? It is the first day of Ramadan and it's not even gone. 7.30 and Carlos is already off of this guy's biscuit. I didn't know. <laughs> we just found a shitload of weed.